I love to listen to people who are, you know, sort of interested in um, socially progressive ways of showing up as businesses, whether that's the environmental work that they might do or paying a living wage to their coworkers. Um, or how they show up in the community in terms of trying to solve intractable socialist issues. I think um, Patagonia is certainly one of them. We are friends with uh, the folks there and I think we learn from them. I also think we teach, you know, and that's a really great relationship when you can work um, with a larger organization and they, you know, and it's, it goes both ways. Um, people perhaps that I know less well but I think are doing interesting work. You know, Herman Miller has done some very interesting things. Interface Carpets in Georgia. Ray Anderson was the founder of that company. Sadly, he passed away a couple of years ago. But here was a guy who, um, you know, from all outside looks, which of course is, you know, nearly meaningless, mm -hmm. seemed like, um, you know, a successful businessman who, you know, wore blue blazers. And, and one day he woke up and said, wow, we're doing this thing that's incredibly toxic. And when you think about all the carpet in the world, you know, and how do we do this differently? And they really got after it with a vengeance. And I just think that's really, when you see people, one, the light bulb goes on, mm -hmm. I can make a difference. And I'm, and I'm not now, so I wanna try. Um, and, and two, they don't just say, yeah, we should do that. They really work at making it happen. Um, you know, that kind of transformational story gives me a lot of hope for the power of business in the world.